Welcome back to Farm and Hammer, everyone. Um, obviously, you did not see a video this past Sunday when I normally post, and uh, that's because I had quite a bit of things going on, just didn't get around to making a video. Um, but we have quite a few updates to share with you. Um, I'm only going to share two of them in today's video, and then the next update I will share sometime in the next week or two. Let's see, what was I doing? I'm out here looking for... Eh, that one's close enough. Not much of a gardener my dad is, and uh, these are some strawberry plants. Um, I helped him plant and lay plastic, but other than that... <laughs> other than that, I am not a gardener, but good strawberries. We've had quite a few this year, so... Well guys, I'm about to feed all of the nurse cows and have them all in a pen together. But guys, one thing I did want to mention, um, since you guys have been paying attention to my uh, dairy beef cross heifers um, for so long now. As you can see here in the bullpen, we have a big old red cow. She's about 14, 13 or 14. Um, this is the second time she's missed. She did not calve when she was supposed to, and when we put her in with the bulls, she was in heat. Either way, we're going to get rid of her. Um, that's her second time to miss, and we don't know if she just took when we put her in with the bulls. So, um, she is going to town. She is. She will. She'll probably go straight to the butchering plant, whoever buys her. Because um, she's about as fat as she's going to get, unless you grain her super heavy. Um, and then right here, we have one of my... Dairy cross heifers. Um, she aborted her calf early, and uh, she may be bred for fall calf now. I'm not sure, but we are going to have her preg checked, and uh, she's not ready to calve here in a month or two. She's off to town, so um, we'll see how much she brings. She's in great shape. If she is bred, um, she looks good. She doesn't look she doesn't look as dairy as some of them. So. Um, we'll see how much she brings and uh, and for those of you wondering why I wouldn't keep her if she is bred First time heifer if she aborts a month early um, There's something going wrong there and I don't want to waste I don't want to waste another year to find it happen again. So anyway now let's get to the nurse cows And they're hanging out in the hay barn I'm trying to get them all over here Holstein, she has slicked off nicely. She's So there's a lot to unpack here. Um, I haven't shown you a lot of these in a while. And uh, I guess we'll start here. You guys may remember this one. She's the one that was part of the hip lift video. Um, she had calving paralysis. She was paralyzed for two weeks. And uh, we did get her back up and walking. Um, she is feeding the calves. They're grazing a lot now. Um, you can see nursing a little bit. She is part Holstein and she's always been skinny. So uh, I think that also has something to do with it, but um, she is definitely skinnier than I'd like to see her. And I may be weaning these calves off early just to give her some time to recover. Um, anyway, that's the story on her. I don't know where her other calf is. Looks like he's over here. Um, and these three black ones here, these two on the left, these are the ones on my white-faced cow there. And the one over there, she, he's one of the ones on the Holstein. And this is the Holstein's heifer calf. She came in the wrong gate. She's looking really good. I'm happy with how she's turned out. And then we'll move on here. This little calf that belongs to this cow. 
have you guys remember me trying to get this calf onto her and she still kicks him but i do feed him twice a day and that's when he drinks so um he is getting milk twice a day just not she doesn't let him suck otherwise anyway then we got my uh pet cow here she didn't kick me um she's doing well her two calves are growing really well she doesn't have a whole lot of milk uh, but her calves are grazing and doing okay and you guys already saw the nurse cow um she's doing great uh we considered weaning her calves off early and sticking another two on her uh, but i think we're just going to let her finish raising these out till they're 600 pounds and uh this guy here on the end this is a young bull since we have a lot of other cows to breed and we kept back quite a few bulls the last couple years um we have decided to throw him in with this little group here so he's only got a couple to breed and i'm actually going to bring my five heifers my young heifers over here and he's going to get a chance to breed those as well so um he will have a low birth weight um so i'm not worried about putting them on heifers but uh um anyway he is going to be one of our heifer bulls from now on so decided we better try him out this year and see if he can breed five cows well i don't expect the injured one to get bred but anyway he's gonna get his well technically second chance to breed some cows but last year i think all the bigger bulls kind of uh did the job for him so uh, we'll see what he's made of and see if he can get it done so anyway guys that about sums up all the nurse cows everything that's happened i almost forgot my bucket um other than that, I will keep you guys posted. And we're gonna take one of these. hate those things <clears throat> you guys have seen that little booger right there he's the half well i guess quarter dexter um he's out of the neighbor's miniature neighbor's bull cross the fence bred one of the heifers early she capped but what we are looking at <laughs> is this little guy right here this one was actually born this morning or last night sometime i say that that's his mother right there and uh this is a definite surprise. <laughs> um, these heifers aren't supposed to calve till, let's see, last week of August, first couple weeks of September. And she popped out a calf. Well, she popped out a calf. This one actually calved first, um, then that one popped out one to yesterday or today. Um, this is a huge surprise. Um, I don't know what bull these are out of, um, I don't think they're out of the miniature bull because that miniature bull is a black white face. These heifers are half Hereford. Theoretically, the calves out of them should have been black white face or at least had a white face. Um, and these two new ones here are solid black. So I have no clue what bull they're out of. We don't have any Angus bulls or solid black bulls at all. All we have are Herefords. Neighbors, they don't have any bulls around here besides the miniature Hereford. So I don't know what these calves are out of. I don't know what bull got in here. Um, but I guess heifers calving a little early and calving these tiny calves, I can't really complain. So um, I think we have two heifers here, two little girls. And uh, like I said, I did not expect these heifers to start calving yet. So I was not out here checking them every day um, till this, till this heifer calved. Um, I was expecting another couple months before calves were here. Um, hey. 
So anyway, big surprise. Uh, like I said, I'm very, very confused on where these calves came from. Um, but I guess I'm happy with the outcome, so. My five heifers in this group, uh, the rest of these should be bred. We're gonna have them prac checked here in a couple of weeks. Um, but my personal dairy cross heifers um, that will be getting bred for the first time, we're gonna take them out and stick them in with the nurse cows, like I mentioned, so they have a chance to get bred. Um, here's the cow with one eye, or my heifer with one eye. Um, she's still doing okay. She's got some warts around her eyes, but um, other than that, I'm really happy with this group of heifers, like I've mentioned in previous videos, even the ones with horns. These heifers look good. Uh, they're built how I want them. Um, these are going to be going to be small framed heifers with the exception of the one that calved. Um, anyway, so I'm really happy with these. I'm hoping, hoping when we get them preg checked, they're all bred. So, and here's one of my bottle calves. Hey. So anyway guys, that's the weird portion of today's video. I have no clue where these cows came from. I was not, I was not expecting them. And uh, now the only concern is watching the others for more calves and making sure this one balling here, making sure his mother has enough milk for him. Um, right now he's acting a little hungry, but uh, I don't know what's going on, so. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. With that being said, I will see you all next time.